Hey, good morning, everybody. So this morning I'm here with Mr. Robert Clark from Clark's Home Inspection Company. And um, so we'll be spotlighting Mr. Robert. So Robert, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing very good. So um, I appreciate you taking the time to allow me to interview you and spotlight your business this morning. So tell me a little bit about how you came about the home inspection business. Well, I've been in the construction field probably for the last, well, the majority of the last 25 years or so. Okay. And um, well, my wife's actually an agent and she continually said something about needing home inspectors. That it was, yes. take, it was taking, you know, a week, maybe longer to get a home inspection done. Yes. And I was in a pretty stressful job and I thought, well, you know, this may be something, you know, I, I like to have a, a schedule that, that can be a little bit flexible. You know, we've got kids and grandkids and we like to be involved in that kind of stuff. And so I thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And uh, so, and, 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 and so far I've really, I've really enjoyed it. I've met a lot of interesting people from all over the country and, yes. and, I, and I've liked it. So it's okay. good and made a little money too. Amen so. to that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No. So, um, and uh, did, have you also, or, no, you're, um, that's a veteran owned business. So. I am. Yep, I am. I spent uh, three years on active duty and four years in the National Guard, and, and yep, I'm very proud of my service and, and all my fellow veterans. Hello. Awesome. And uh, so, and do you do you offer discounts? I, to I do. Vet, veterans, widows of veterans, any first responders, that's ambulance drivers, EMTs, firemen, police officers, I give a $25 discount. Wow. I know twenty five dollars may not sound like a lot, but I, I I would like to do more, but I still have to make a, a living too, you know. So, but I Absolutely. try to do every little thing I can. Okay. So, yeah. so and um, well, tell me where you're from. Well, I may it may not sound like it, but I'm originally from Washington State. Wow. Yeah, I'm, the town that I'm from, I haven't been there since I was fifteen, and I'm fifty one now, so it's been a few years. Um, was actually made famous in the Twilight books, a little town called Forks. I mean, I, I know my my youngest daughter, she was reading that book, the first Twilight book, and she ran over to me, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy is this where you're from? I'm like, yeah, what are you reading? Wow. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, a little town, about four or 5,000 people there. And and yeah, it's, it was really surprising that, that there was a book based on that town. Wow, yeah. that's pretty neat. And yeah. so, well, tell me, how did you come about the Lawrenceburg area? Oh, well, that's a long journey. Okay. Um, but but the, the the end game of it is, I lived in Lexington, Alabama for several years, and then I moved to East Tennessee to where I went to high school at and uh, met, reconnected with my wife, and, and we got married, and there were just some things going on in that town that we didn't like. And, and I have, we have grandkids that live in North Alabama. And so this was as close as we could get to her with, to them without crossing that state line. My wife said, I'm not going to live South of that line. So, yes. so, so we, so we actually live in Leoma and that's about as close as we can get to them without <laughs> going into Alabama. Okay. So yeah, we're Tennessee people all the way. Awesome. Um, so tell me a little bit about the home inspection business. What do you have to go through to get your license? Or I think it's pretty similar to, to becoming a real estate agent. It's a 90 hour course, but if you actually do everything that's in the course, it's going to take longer than that because at the end of each section there, you actually go do an inspection. Like if you're doing the, the, the section on say roofs, yes. you actually at the end, after you go through the course and you take the little test, for that section, you actually go out. I, I just did one on my house on every on. So when I'd finish the section, I'd go do that inspection. So you'd type up a report, take photos, and, and that would all go on to it. So if you did everything that it would probably actually take you probably 120 hours or so, and then you have to take a, a national test, okay. which is probably the toughest test I've ever taken. I've taken some tough tests yes. and that I would answer a question. I'm like, well, I missed that one. I missed that one and I got to the end and, and I did better than I thought I did so so how many can relate to that right? <laughs> yeah yeah it, it was bad but I passed it so everything is good okay <laughs> well do you have to hold a, a membership with an association like you, realtors you, do or no you don't have to um uh but I am a member of of NACHI, which is North American Home so Home Inspectors Association um okay there's several different organizations 
that's the one I've picked. That's the one I took my training through, and uh, and because they offer several things at reduced rates, and, and if you're a member to that organization, you you know get reduced rates on things like insurance and stuff. So, okay. Yeah. Now I've heard that during a home inspection, you will not move furniture around to look behind items. Is that correct? I typically try not to. Now, if I look behind the couch and I can see that there looks like there's a hole in the wall, I may slide it out. But I, sure. I, I, I try not to, to bother people's personal stuff. Right. I don't want people bothering mine, and I try not. You know, but if I can look back there and I say, well, that looks like you know. Is there any um, suggestions you have for people getting prepared to have a home inspection done? Well, the best thing for me is if it's a vacant house and everything is gone. But sure. if somebody is still living there, two things I absolutely need access to is the attic entrance. Okay. You know, a lot of those entrances are in a closet and you'll, right. and you'll find it and everybody's personal stuff will still be in there and it, I can't get in there. So I right. can't, I, and the breaker panel, a lot of people will put, you know, a, a cabinet or something in front of the breaker panel, you know, and so, but those are the two main things. If, if an inspector needs access to the attic and the breaker panel, everything else we can, we can work around, look by, you know, but those two things are very important. Okay. And uh, what about radon? Do you test for radon also? I do not. I, I am actually just started going through the class for that. It's like a 24 hour class. And then I'll have to go take a test on that and get the equipment and stuff. But okay. I, I hope, by the end of this month, I, I will have that that certification also. Have you, I mean, is that something a lot of homes seem to have? I, that that wasn't always yeah. around, that radon testing. Is that yeah. something new? Or It seems to be fairly new. I mean, I remember even when I bought my house uh, less than three years ago, it wasn't even mentioned. But sure. I had a couple of people ask, and, and, and my wife, like I said, sells eight real estate, and she's had a couple of people want radon tests. Yes. So it, it seems to be a growing thing where people are concerned about. I mean, it's a colorless, odorless gas, so and you don't know if it's there without testing for it. So. Right. Yeah. Well, and I noticed also that you have a designation in um, manufactured mobile homes. Is that right? I do. It's something I just finished up. Uh, I work with a with a engineering firm. I do the, I do the field work. I go out and take pictures, sending them uh, pertinent information about the home. It's it's for existing manufactured homes if uh, any government-based loans need these foundation inspections yes. um, so i send them all the, and, and also any add-ons to anything that's like a porch or a roof or something that's been added on to a mo uh, manufactured home um, like i said i take all the pictures and then i send it to the engineering company they review the pictures and every, all the information i send them then they issue the final report with the engineer stamp so, okay. Yeah. Um, and what areas do you cover? I mainly cover uh, Lawrence County, Giles County, and Wayne County. Um, if I go much for, out of those three counties, I would probably have to charge a little more for driving so sure. far. So I try, I, and so I try to stay in those, and I, I will drive further away if need be. But I, I yeah. really, I don't really market in those other places. So. Okay. Is there and is there a certain pricing guideline or a way that you there is pricing? Uh, there is uh, a house that's fifteen hundred square feet and down would be three hundred and fifty dollars. Then once you get over that, every five hundred square feet it goes up fifty dollars. So okay, yeah. so kind of by square footage it, it is. Yeah. Okay, I, I've seen where other agents sell they'll, they'll charge by how far from where their office is and and age of the house. And I, I just it's just flat rate size of the house. It's okay. easy for me to remember. It's easy yes. for, for everybody to remember. So I know you've performed some home inspection for us, and you've been very good about explaining, you know, if we had any questions about it, um, and doing a very thorough, what, what I would believe in, that homeowners believe a very thorough report that sort of is, is very detailed. Um, is there anything you'd like the community or people to know about Clark's home inspection business? Um, no, we're just a, a one-man show, and we try, you know, I try to do, a good job for for my clients uh, yes. you know I know when I first started I went around to all the agencies and handed out cards and some of the agents were like well you're not gonna beat up a house too bad are you and make <laughs> it sound and and I try not to I don't want to break up a deal for somebody but my job ultimately in the end is do a good job for the, the my clients the ones yes. that are actually paying me and I and I try to do that and I, and I think I do a, a pretty good job at that so yes 
Well, I personally, I'd, I'd want you to do a really good job, so that might prevent a lawsuit in the future. Yeah, you know, that, so. That's why I look at it on my side. I don't want to be sued. And, right. So. Um, well, do you advertise on social media or anything, or how can someone reach you? The easiest way to reach me would be just to call me at 931-200-7468. Okay. Um, I have a Facebook page. Uh, if you just look up Clark's Home Inspection on Facebook, you can probably find it. And I, I have a... A business page also and and it's clark's home inspections.com and uh, it has pertinent information but like i said just give me a call and, and i'll answer any questions that you have and, and whatever you need done we can try to get it done okay well clark i really appreciate your time today and uh, we always like to um show a little appreciation gift and also just say thank you for your service especially you being a veteran owned uh, company as well and we appreciate you honoring your your fellow veterans and um, just being an asset to the community. We definitely need more home inspectors. And so uh, with that, we want to present you with a little appreciation right. gift. Right. And uh, again, say thank you for allowing us to spotlight you and your business. And uh, with that, you guys, again, you can reach Clark at 931-200-7468. Okay, guys, you have it there. So uh, y'all have an amazing day and check out Clark's Home Inspection Company. If you need a home inspection, uh, he'll get it done. So have a good one. See ya. <laughs>